What's up, boys, and welcome to another episode of How to Dominate. Uh, in my last video, you guys were requesting Shivana extremely highly, which I was surprised about, but I'm definitely down to play it. Uh, it's something that I played a lot in the beginning of the season. It kind of fell off as the season uh, went on because press the attack um, junglers ended up... Uh, being a little bit lower value. But with uh, the changes to like Electrocute and Dark Harvest, um, press attack junglers are coming back. So this is probably the best state that Shivana has been at since um, early season. Uh, the only thing that you have to be worried about when you play Shivana is just um, your uh, early game going poorly because you don't actually gank that well until level six. So if people die hard in lanes, it's really hard to get um, like an advantage that you're able to snowball into the later portion of the game because Shivana's main strength does rely on farming, but her first clear isn't great, which is actually kind of um, interesting to say. Uh, for runes here, we have Press Attack, Triumph, we have Legend Tenacity, um, Coup de Gras, Magical Footwear, and Cosmic Insight. That is the page we are using. I'm going to ward this. We need a ward here. And I'm going to show you the pathing that I use to stay... Um... Ooh, nice. We got a flash mid. It's actually pretty good. Um... So I'm going to show you the pathing I use to stay healthy uh, as Shivana and to actually be able to like play through the crab meta. It's substandard with um, the leveling of my abilities and stuff, but I think that this is actually the best one. It's something that I did a lot on Shivana when Shivana was um, meta in the beginning of the season. Yeah, and a lot of people just don't really know how to react to it. So you're going to take your red. Um, I like to just... No, I, I like to try to save a pot if I can. If Nocturne comes to me, I will pop the pot. But if I pop it right now, I will actually overheal with um, doing the crab here. So you go E and then Q. Now, this is better for doing single target camps. If you're doing AoE camps, this is obviously not the right selection for um, for your uh, I, for your skills. But if you are doing single target camps, this will do the most damage. So yeah, E start is also better on buffs. Like I see a lot of Shivana's in lower yellow start W. It's just not good. Just straight up not good. The reasoning for the, for it not being good is you actually just do more damage with your Q, with your E on buffs. Even if you're gonna do AOE camps, go E first and then W second. It's the best way to do it. So I'm gonna start popping my pots, and I will use um, one smite charge here but i'm not gonna pop the second one and i'll show you like how this pathing ends up working out for you i'm gonna hold my uh q here until i can eq and this is a way that you do your uh single target camps better i can come and help him but he needs to like run in my direction it's good really close one more auto he would have died if um but yeah we're gonna shove it in together they have to back okay he can hold it if he wants but i think shoving is good thing is like he needs to take a back at some point that's fine trading flashes in the early game is actually really good for me um because i don't want action and without his flash he can't do anything and without my flash i can't do anything so we're actually just gonna back here um, and then look for our red smite and our by being able to get the red smite is super useful because it gives you the ability to clear your camps without losing too much health so I'm gonna back and I'm gonna actually wait here for a pink ward and then I might be able to cheese an early infernal here um, doing dragons is one of the best parts of Shivana's kit because her E it does percentage damage if you look at it um, the E does a total of 2.5% of the targets maximum health as magic damage which when something has like 6k health that's an absurd amount of damage every auto. Also, your Q double procs this. So you auto and double proc your Q, and that's already 7.5% of the dragon's health dead in like the first second. So yep, we're going to do golems here. Clear down. He's going to be on his top side. And as you see, once you have the talisman, um, you're able to just clear the camps way, way better. Top could be a potential gank, actually. I'm going to do the, the um, clear that I wanted to, though. He's taking my race. It's fine. We should have priority on this crab. Yeah, we have priority bot and priority mid. I should be able to control this crab. Let's see. It looks like the Zed warded maybe pixel, so I'm going to be there. 
Okay. I'm gonna clear all the wards here. They should have no wards, so if we go back bot, he would have to face check. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely go for a dragon here. Now, when you get dragons on Shivana, it gives you a huge uh, boost in your passive, which is really nice. I kind of wish he wasn't here, to be honest. Makes it more obvious that we're doing it. I'm gonna commit for this. 450. Got it, and I'm walking out. It's fine. Just back out here. Take the lantern. Uh, he didn't take the lantern here. This is just like really greedy by our team. Really hope that I don't die here. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I should not have followed that. We just needed to back after dragon. It was a really good dragon, but we chased into the jungle and killed ourselves. Literally all of us died for that play, and this guy had tier 2 boots. Chased us down. Also, uh, Lucian needed to take the lantern there. He just didn't take it. That's honestly like one of the worst things that can happen um, when you're playing Shivana. Like I got the early dragon that's really good for us. It's an early infernal. It gives me um, extra armor and magic resist. It's super useful, but the death there uh, is just tragic for me. At least Sona flashed. Should be able to do something when I'm six. Just he's gonna hit six too. Oh well. Yeah, I'm like Shivana is just not useful in fighting pre six. So. It's one of the major flaws of the champion. Let's see if this guy is. Okay, get a free kill top at 6, that's really good. And now we can rotate down and potentially control this crab. Should be spawning now. Nocturne is top, they can't contest this crab. It's mine. Yeah, so the playstyle of Shivana is like very uh, simple. You gank with your ult up, and then when your ult's down, you farm your jungle. So I'm in a pretty good spot. I mean, I got the early gank off, or I got a gank off. I got um, the early infernal. So we're in a fine spot. Obviously, it sucks that we had that like group suicide, but shit happens, dude. It's solo queue. Got to be able to recover from it and just do the next best play. So the next best play in that situation is rush six and kill the top laner. That's like all the way extended. Gotta be careful for a nocturnal. I'm gonna ping it. Just so they are careful of it. I kinda wanna gank bot, but at the same time, if we do not play the fight well, we will just instantly uh, lose to the nocturne counter. Was holding my smite charges, but I'll just use one here because it's starting to be um, held for way too long. Okay, so one of the advantages of having. Uh, of playing Shivana is you can go magical footwear which allows you to get free boots so it gives you like a little bit of a power spike advantage so here I can go this and I can go a long sword and I'll get boots um, naturally so I'm, I'm probably going to look to go top again based off how this is I have other like paths I can take he's gonna clear this ward he has a pink here he's gonna ward this and try to be safe but the wave is so pushed up if he walks into the lane he's still killable top bot is not really gankable right now Like, they gotta be careful of Nocturne ulti. They have to be really careful. Okay. Good, a good uh, setup from Kennen. He went at the time that I was crossing the pink ward. So that's probably going bot. Yeah, it's going bot 100%. That means that he probably didn't do his blue. I saw his blue coming up right now. So there's a chance that this is still up. Yep. 
So here it is, and I'm gonna go take it and then try to counter jungle. I'm gonna take this. We've got another Infernal up in a minute. Let's see, he did this in order. Yeah, so I'm gonna get his whole bot side here. And I get crab. That's really good for me. Like, I end up pretty far ahead. So this is how you generate leads with Shyvana. It's a lot of farming. It's a lot of just like ganking where your team has um, good lanes for it. Okay. So I flashed and uh, got him there. That's like pretty janky. I also canceled an auto. I just needed to get my EQ and it would kill him because um, of press the attack. Or because of uh, the um, double proc on my E. I don't know. I said press. If I got the auto off though, we would have proc press. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go for this kill. Okay, got his flash. I can maybe kite it out. Okay, got the kill on him. So I got his flash and the kill. So I'm starting to open up a pretty big lead. I need to recall and go back to, um, like, even though I could clear these camps, I need to recall and go to Infernal. Ooh. There was a ward in that. I got flash ignited by Sona. That's actually not the worst death. I should be able to be there for Inferno. Okay. So, we're getting a decent amount of uh, stuff from the enemy team here. Not the end of the world. Gonna go Frozen Mallet second. This is definitely the item build that you just go every single game when you play this champion. Um, you need the slow on auto attack. It makes your champion actually useful. Nice, we got a kill bot. I'm gonna come to Infernal. Going straight to Infernal here. So, Sona without Flash is sitting duck. I'll keep on typing to my team. Sona's no Flash here. I don't want them to take too much damage. We really just want to start their Infernal and force them to come in and fight us because they have no Zed. Oh, right here. Went in. Okay, run away, run away. All right. I think we should have all just ran towards the Nocturne that went into the pit there. I think it was free death, but it's okay. So that's good. Uh, double Infernal for us. And the dragons are really important with Shyvana because obviously I get armor and magic resist from them due to my passive. Okay. Gonna hold mid until people are here. Probably just take the wave. Ooh, that was bad CSing. Missed two melees that I should have got. Gonna pop a pot here just in case they run into me. So you have to remember that your ult dodges CC, so just be conscious of that when you're playing this champion. Yeah, so I've got a big lead on the Nocturne right now. So Nocturne is no ult right now, so we gotta have, um, be conscious of that. Looks like they're all inning top. Nope, missed. That's unfortunate. Got solo killed, 2v1. So I hit my E, that's free kill for him. Your E does so much damage in dragon form. Don't be afraid to use it. Like this is the biggest part of the champion. This is the thing that makes the champion viable. So I'm gonna hit him with the initial E. And I'm just gonna stay on his shadow there. Nice. Got the pop off coming in. I kind of want to just take turret here. Yeah, let's just take turret together, guys. I'll try to let him get the CS. I know he wants the CS. But, um, yeah, I want the turret for sure. Getting this really big lead right now. Already had to ult mid. This is fine. Take me towards the turret. Okay. He is dead as fuck. Shouldn't have went back in. 
So now their top side's up. I'm gonna try to cheese their top side while they're making this play. They need to just not fight right now. Just wait a second. Free kill there. Had to flash the stun, but that's okay. Just needed to get in on him. Like, Shivana's a power champion. You have to kind of play in, like, ways that are aggressive. You want to power clear, get ganks off. Like, your ganks, you're going to have to force a lot of the time. That's just the mindset you need um, to play this. I'm going to buy a... Uh, a, um, a chain vest, says Fane's win trading. Oh man, I think I started a win trading meme by releasing that video. I'm lucky. But yeah, anyway, so we're going to get back into this. He took my blue. I don't know if he got my whole side. I am still ahead in CS, and I've, um, I'm also ahead in dragons, which is really good. Next dragon, I will still prioritize because I am Shivana. But right now, number one thing to do is get Rift Herald. So I'm going to be on this. I'm going to ping this guy back. He shouldn't be chasing. So your E does a lot of damage to this, so you, you'll just see. So when I cast my E, it gives me an extra 80 damage, and then that procs twice on my Q. So I do that pretty insanely fast. And now right here, we have the Crab as well, so that's good. And I have my Frozen Mallet, so I'm in pretty good shape right now. And this should be, this is an account that decayed from about 173 LP Masters. Obviously, MMR goes up over time, so... Um, I should be in about like a diamond one master game right now. Maybe diamond two if I matched uh, low. Because it is late at night. But I know that this guy is at least diamond one. I've doed with him before. So, yeah. So, Zed's getting a lot of free kills on Lucian. Lucian needs to be more careful with like where he's going. Without remorse. So if he clears that. They have faced nothing like me. So I one shot the Sona and now I'm gonna go for the vein. Might still be able to snipe him with an A. Nope, probably not. Yeah, so I just went for the one shot on the Sona there. Okay, keep on going. Good. Oh, you're not gonna auto? I think he gets him. I'll camp right in this thing to assert dominance. Nah, I just didn't care about the damage. I wanna summon Rift. Somebody should go defend mid. We got this right now. I think we can get damage on the second turret, to be honest. Mm, maybe not. Nice. I'm gonna back up my team. Oh, it's top, it's top. Okay, let's go here. And then we get another kill. So yeah, we're starting to really um, get ahead. Now I have my R up. Try to walk out of the E. Okay, I didn't get it. Or the W, rather. Nice. Getting an in hip here. Okay, so we are going to go for Dragon here. <laughs> Unlucky. Alright. Okay. And I'm probably going to just buy a GA here. I want the damage more than I would want, want like a uh, dead man's in this situation. Dead man's is good too though. But yeah, I, I want the GA damage, the BF sword damage. And just like the revive I think will be pretty decent here. 
because one thing that's really nice is like if you get people low and then you get triumph procs while you're uh dead you actually just yeah you you get the life when you come out of ga so if i'm playing correctly it should be okay and here do i want any mr i'm not gonna buy any mr because their victor is extremely weak and he has a sheen so that's like physical damage anyway um and sona i don't think he's gonna be doing that much damage so i'm just trying to be as tanky as possible with armor and i already have a little bit of mr from getting so many dragons since we've got three so yeah we can just take any fight we should just be forcing a fight when i'm uh, when i'm there oh god looks like we're dying before i'm there I can take this forever. Your pool of fire does so much. I got the slow. Hmm. I honestly believe we should have just been doing that, but it's okay. Train flashes, it's not the end of the world. So I just ulted to get as close as possible. Trying to stack my uh, ult. So here I can use this to stack my ult again. Lucian does this pretty well. We don't have a mountain though, so we're not like super, super fast. Nocturne has no ult, no flash though, so he can't get in. Should be free. Got the dragon, or got the baron. I thought he might be standing around the corner. It's okay. I have really quick, um, really quick transformation, so it's, it's fine. As long as I'm not autoing while I'm dragon form, and hopefully I will auto when I'm mini. I, we should just go hit this. So here I'm going to hit turret. I think we're gonna keep on going here. With two minions, we can probably get half the turret. No lie. Maybe the whole thing. Yeah, nice. I'm willing to tank a little here. I'm just gonna run. Without my ult, I'm pretty useless in a fight like this. It's like really hard for me to do anything. And my next item will be a dead man's plate, which I think is one of the cores. So normally my core build for, for Shivana will be Blood Razor, uh, Frozen Mallet, Guardian Angel, dead man's plate. And then I'll either get a stone plate, which I don't really like doing because it cuts your damage, or I'll get like a visage if I have healing or an adaptive helm if I don't. Sometimes I'll also go wit's end here if I want to go like full damage build. But yeah, I'll just go in our MR item last with this setup, with this build. Look at how much my E does now, because of all the stats that I have. Chunks. Looks like they're fighting. I'm just gonna stay on the thing here. I'm hitting these. Just trying to get my ult up if possible. Just gonna end the game. Don't wanna lose the how to dominate game. Alright, man. Well, that was that was the game right there, man. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was the one that you guys requested. You guys were telling me dumb. 
play Shivana. We want Shivana how to dominate. Um, if you look at my last video's most upvoted comment that I saw regarding what champion they want me to play. Lagging here for a second, but I want to show damage dealt as always. But yeah, it was a pretty smooth game. I mean, it went pretty well, I would say. Uh, let's see. Who do I honor here? Uh, let me honor the Kennen. He helped set up my ganks early. And yeah. Um, that ends up being a pretty good, pretty good game. Obviously, we win really high LP because this is much higher MMR than my LP indicates. Yeah, it's a diamond one MMR. Um, it was a master account. This is actually probably the best uh, win rate we got to masters this season solo only on stream. Uh, I think when we hit it, we were 104 and 44. So pretty solid, pretty solid. Um, look at damage. Done. Actually, I, I guess I only did 12k damage, but we didn't do that much damage as a team. It just wasn't a very high damage game. They didn't fight us that much. Overall, I think that's a pretty good Shivana game. That pathing, I'm telling you, will get you through so many games, dude. And we ended up 3k gold up on everyone else. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, man, make sure to uh, like the video. Make sure to subscribe, all that stuff, man. Uh, I'll try to do whatever How to Dominate you guys want. And we got the new season coming up in about two weeks. So there's going to be a bunch of new content, a bunch of new stuff that we can do, um, new runes and different things that we can experiment with. So we're going to try a bunch of new things um, in the new season. So I hope you guys stick around for that. Anyways, thanks, guys. Peace out.